Can you imagine having $24 billion when you're just 30? I certainly can, but only because I have a very vivid imagination. This young fellow, however, doesn't need to fantasize about the life of the ultra-rich, as he has been there ever since he was 24. Most importantly, he has done it all on his own. But before we get to this brilliant guy who is on his way to becoming the next Elon Musk, let's look at the rest of the world's top six youngest self-made billionaires. Number six, Alexander Wang. Alexander Wang became the youngest self-made billionaire as recently as May 2022. He is probably one of the few people on this planet that actually gained from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. As his company's artificial intelligence is charged with analyzing and calculating how much damage the Russian bombs caused in Ukraine. This and several other lucrative deals with the US armed forces skyrocketed Wang's company, Scale AI, to become one of the biggest high tech enterprises in America. With a net worth of $7.2 billion, this also pushed Wang's personal bank account above nine figures, as he owns 15% of the company. The young Asian-American started the company when he was just 19 and quickly dropped out of school when his so-called summer project proved to be a billion-dollar idea. Naturally, Wang doesn't flash out his cash yet. It takes some effort to retain your billionaire status for more than a month, so you wouldn't see the young New Mexican who currently resides in San Francisco with a flashy car or throwing money from the Golden Gate Bridge. The boy is just 25. Give him some time and he will surely buy a $600 billion yacht in a few years. If the price sounds a bit far-fetched, just check the inflation rates and pray that this will remain a bad joke in a few months and not a premonition. Number 5. Austin Russell Just like Wang Russell was once the youngest self-made billionaire, and also dropped out of school so he could run a successful business, this is another person besides Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg that lazy potheads will use to convince their parents that being in college is not that important. However, Austin left Stamford University only after his project caught some traction, not because he overslept for two exams. The 26-year-old Russell is currently worth $1.6 billion dollars, and his company, Luminar, has reached a market value of $7.78 per share or a total net worth of $2.67 billion. Luminar is one of the biggest players in the development of autonomous cars. Russell is the founder and CEO of the company, which is an essential partner of Volvo and Toyota in their efforts to build self-driving cars. His technology is also used to perfect parking assistance technology and other close proximity vehicle alerts. If only he was so kind as to put a bit more pleasant melody and not that horrible beeping sound that can rip your eardrums out. Like most people on this list, Russell uses his money to expand his business and rarely spends his finances on pointless luxuries. However, the young billionaire also gave a part of his fortune to charity, as recently he gave $70 million to the Central Florida Foundation, putting him on the list of top donors of 2021. He also donated $4 million to Team C's earlier this year, which shows his philanthropy was not just a one-time occurrence. Number 4. Andy Fang Andy Fang is one of the most enigmatic people on this list. The young billionaire keeps his personal life to himself, his entrepreneurial life, on the other hand, is on full display. The brilliant Asian-American made a fortune by joining forces with Stanley Tang and two other Stanford University students to create DoorDash. So, if you live in America and have ordered food delivery via a mobile app, you most likely did it through DoorDash. During the lockdown, the company was estimated to own 60% of the US food delivery market DoorDash was eventually at $4.67 billion, and Andy owns approximately 4% of the company. His big hit came when Fang and his friends took the step and put DoorDash on the open market. In March 2021, 
the company raised $3.4 billion and became one of the largest IPOs of the year. Andy, however, does not count entirely on DoorDash for his $2.2 billion fortune. The young entrepreneur has various small projects that hopefully are on their way to becoming big. Furthermore, he invests heavily in stocks. And that's how he managed to raise his fortune by a billion in less than a year. Much like most young entrepreneurs, he's trying to reinvest all his earnings into the business, as he rarely buys expensive purchases. Nonetheless, he was noticed with a brand new Mercedes-Benz C250. The luxurious automobile, however, is far less costly than what we're used to seeing from billionaires. The car is worth a price tag of $50,000 for the floor model and roughly $90,000 for the full pack. Number 3. John Collison When John Collison first founded Stripe 12 years ago, he was only 18 at the time. He joined forces with his older brother Patrick, who was also one of the youngest billionaires on the planet, though he's already 34. Stripe became the background of hundreds of financial services worldwide. With its elegant and trustworthy system that allows for secure financial movement, payments, and other transactions. In 2010, the Irish-born entrepreneur received colossal backing from Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Max Levchin, and Sequoia Capital. With such funding, it's hard to imagine this project ending any other way. Collins made his first billion at the age of 25, when Capital G and General Catalyst invested heavily in Stripe, raising the company's worth to $9.2 billion. Today, the company has increased its market value by tenfold, and its net worth is above $95 billion. So naturally, John's wealth has also increased by 1,000. And now he can enjoy $11.4 billion in his bank account. As anyone could imagine, just like all self-made billionaires, John is not spending his massive fortunes yet. Still, he does enjoy his hobby of flying airplanes. He has a private jet, albeit not as luxurious as any models we've discussed on this channel so far. Collison invested $20 million into a 1,100-acre estate near Dublin's Western Airport and is now about to purchase the entire airfield. After all, this is the place where he learned how to fly. If he's as good at flying as he is at making billions, this young entrepreneur has one truly bright future, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him on Forbes' top spots very soon. Number 2. Stanley Tang The Hong Kong entrepreneur has been on the success path ever since he was 14. Back then, he became an Amazon best-selling author with his e-book, E-Millions. Now that's what I call a teenage rebellion. Take that, Mom and Dad. I'm the best-selling author at Amazon now, and I'm on my way to becoming a billionaire. His true potential came out when he collaborated with Andy Fang, Tony Zhu, and Evan Moore, his friends and classmates from Stanford University. They combined their forces and created DoorDash. The handy mobile app allows people to order and receive food with just a few clicks, without taking over the phone and wasting time. So, naturally, this option became a hit during the pandemic, where almost three out of five orders were done via DoorDash. DoorDash, however, was just the beginning for this brilliant mind. Within a couple of years, he managed to raise his net worth from $2.2 billion to $18.8 billion, making him one of the fastest-growing billionaires on the planet. Naturally, such an insightful entrepreneur is always sought after for motivational speeches, talks, and others. And while he's not a big spender, he does enjoy an occasional game of poker. In August 2021, he captured the eyes of poker fans around the world with one ice-cold bluff in a televised high-stakes poker game. He went all-in with practically nothing in his hand, yet he managed to convince his opponent his hand was a winner. I guess it's easy keeping calm with two million dollars about to go down the drain when you know that's your spare change for the day. Number 1. Sam Bankman-Fried This brilliant entrepreneur is scaling his fortune 
by the day. Just a few months ago, his net worth was only $22.5 billion, and today he enjoys $1.5 billion more. How does he do it? Well, he practically sleeps on the job. Sam Bankman-Fried is known for rarely leaving the office and even sleeping on beanbags just so he won't waste time commuting. While most billionaires love to look presentable and are always dressed to the nines, this $24 billion businessman is most often seen in saggy shorts and not-so-flattering t-shirts. This is due to his philosophy of giving as much back to society as possible. Bankman Freed believes that one should strive to make as much money as they can, but instead of spending it on themselves, giving it back to society. I'm not sure if the Sultan of Brunei, who once spent $24,000 on a haircut, shares his vision. Unlike most billionaires with golden toilets, airplanes, golden cars, and ultra-luxurious everything, this young prodigy, who was born and raised on the Stanford University campus, has a different approach. He is one of the biggest donors in the US, and he often picks charities and gives them millions. He also strongly supports the Democratic Party, giving $5 million to the pro-Biden campaign in 2020. The crypto billionaire is now saying he could spend up to $1 billion for the upcoming elections. How is that not buying influence? I have no idea. But hey, politics was never my strongest subject. These were the most prosperous youngsters in the entire world. As it's evident, they are genuine products of their generation, as all of them managed to build their vast fortunes thanks to the internet, modern technology, and globalization. One could easily ask themselves, why am I doing YouTube videos and not creating a brilliant app that would change the world and make me a billionaire in the process? Do you have any idea which I can steal? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch this video on the richest people in world history. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.